the police department couldn't even help us. After they found my baby dead, they couldn't even help us. The bastards! It's the mother of a teenage girl found dead in a hotel deep freezer just out of outside of Chicago. She is demanding answers. The body of 19-year-old uh, Kanika uh, Jenkins was discovered Saturday afternoon inside the kitchen walk-in freezer at the Crown Plaza Hotel in Rosemont, Illinois. Uh, her body was found by hotel staff. Jenkins was at the hotel the night before celebrating a birthday party with friends. They admit they were drinking and using drugs. Still what happens next is a mystery. Around 4.30 a.m., friends say they found her cell phone and truck keys, but no uh, Kanika. Right, around, right now, authorities do not suspect foul play and are waiting for a toxicology report. I don't understand how you don't expect foul play when you ended up in a freezer. They're also reviewing a Facebook video posted by one of her friends at the party. They believe she may have been drinking, wandered off, and ended up in the deep freezer. Her mother is not convinced. I believe that someone in this hotel killed my child. It's something that no one could ever imagine. Darlene, uh, is a, a reporter with uh, Fox 32, has been following the case. Uh, Darlene, uh, glad to have you on the show. So, uh, Darlene Hill, sorry about that. So, okay, I, this, this freezer, is it, is it a walk-in freezer? Is it a uh, one that it, look, there, there, there are different types of freezers? One where you have to actually have to open a door and place something in versus a walk-in. Explain that. What we're hearing about this freezer, it's a commercial size, industrial size freezer that's in a very isolated area of the kitchen there at the hotel. So not a lot of details on that. Rosemont police are being tight-lipped, as you said, with a lot of the details on this investigation. There's a lot of information, as you said, Roland Martin, out there on social media, on Facebook, on Instagram. A lot of facts, quote unquote facts out there, but Rosemont police are being tight lipped. I can tell you right now that Fox 32 Chicago has learned exclusively that Rosemont police will be sitting down with the mother of Kanika Jenkins this morning. Teresa Martin, you heard her, please, asking for more answers than questions. She's got more, she wants more answers than questions right now, not getting them. They are going to spend some time with her this morning reviewing the tapes retakes there at that Crown Plaza Hotel outside of Chicago was actually out by O'Hare Airport, which is about 35 minutes northwest of the uh, downtown area. Her body was found out there. The mother will be spending some time out there trying to figure out what happened, how her baby's body ended up in that freezer, a large freezer. The mother says her daughter was probably 110, 120 pounds, as big as this industrial sized freezer was. There's no way this young lady could open the door. So as you said, there's no way you could end up drunk end up high, whatever, since so many people admitted to using drugs and alcohol that night, how she herself ended up in that freezer, an area in the hotel where it's only accessible to employees. That's the key right there. So, and, and, that, and that's what really jumps out in terms of if you had a party. I love me. I've been to many hotels uh, going, finding your way into a kitchen, uh, which requires, uh, you know, going through back doors and in, 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 in now and then, a, then a deep freezer. I mean, the logic mm -hmm. is there. Uh, I would also assume this hotel has cameras all around the hotel right. to be able to right. track movements. Right, and that's what they're hoping. The mother is hoping that by looking at the surveillance video, she's been asking about this video. Let me see the tapes there at the hotel. Mm -hmm. She's been asking for that since mm -hmm. Saturday morning when she discovered her daughter did not come home, her daughter was not answering her calls, and her daughter had her vehicle. She needed her vehicle, and she said, hey, something's gone wrong. This is not the actions of Kanika Jenkins, not my child. So this mother is gonna be able to hopefully see where she walked in the hotel, what room she was in the hotel, um, and how much time she spent in those hotels with a number of her friends. That's the thing a lot of people are talking about here in Chicago. It's not that Rosemont police are not being so quick with the answers that they're conducting, they say, a thorough investigation. They're using social media as part of this investigation, a major part of the investigation going on right now is what things or people, what posts people are putting out there on social right. media. The apologies out there. One friend even posted something like, uh, um, Kanika, I wish I had had your back that night. So somebody knows something, and I'm mad, more disturbed with the friends in that room. Not so much with the police conducting their investigation, but the friends in that room, they know something, they saw right. something, and they're just trying to act like nothing has happened. That's somebody's child, and this mother is demanding answers, and she deserves those answers. Darlene Hill, we appreciate it. Thanks a lot.
I want to quickly go to our panel here. What jumps out at me is uh, a lot of people have been blasting the police. I am with them not releasing information. Mm -hmm. This is an investigation. Right. Right. You don't, you, you need to investigate and you can't release information because you're questioning witnesses. Right, that's right, right. it's right. I mean, you know, what struck me was the family went out there knocking on doors, the hotel people say, hold on, we can't do that. It is all unfolding. And as we heard from uh, Anchor Hill there, you know, the young people clearly know something and the police have to really right. seal yeah. this and walk through about, it. To about get 30 seconds, go ahead. We got to investigate. We can't just say, oh, it's a young girl, she was drunk or she was on drugs, therefore it's not a problem. Hey, we got to investigate. We got to investigate her life has man. Has and Angela, value. to our point, we're talking about the death penalty case, uh, where we're talking about the state senator in Missouri. I, it does not matter. That is, if you have a standard, you investigate. Uh, you also don't want any racial bias in, in, uh, in juries as well. Again, that's what people are saying, period. Right, right. And, and my heart goes out to this family during this time of investigation. Yeah, whatever happens, it's right. a tragedy. It is a tragedy. That's right. All right, folks, so tight. Days on TV One. I will never lie to you. Oh, my God. Roland Martin. He doesn't want to talk to us. He wants to ignore us. Uncensored. Hell no. no. That ain't going to cut it, boo. Unapologetic. No, no, that, that is fundamentally false. You are wrong. Unfiltered. He wants an America where we all look alike. He ain't talking about black people. Unrelenting. You better go work out, because you got to fight on your hands. News One Now with Roland Martin, weekdays at 7 a.m. on TV One.